Ever since I was a kid, I'd always thought of sexuality and gender as something that I would just come to understand eventually. Because as a child, I cannot remember ever thinking to myself, okay, I feel this way about this group of people, male versus female, or I feel like a male, or I feel like a woman, I feel like a female, I feel like a man, like, these were never terms that for me had any kind of personal gravity. I could never say, okay, right now, I feel like a man, whatever a man is. I, I've always just felt like me. And it wasn't until I saw Vi Hart's video on this subject that I found somebody who had a similar sentiment. You know, the notion of a gender or a sexual identity was not something that really for them, for Vi Hart, for her, had to be a conscious decision. It was, she's just her, and she doesn't feel any discordance with the social roles that have been given to her. So she simply is as she is. And I think that's very appropriate for myself as well, at least as concerns gender. However, I would say that as concerns sexuality, I've wondered from the first whether or not I was straight, because I could never say that I felt an exclusive attraction to women. Like, there was never a point in time where I thought to myself, oh, I would find intimacy with a man repulsive. And I still can't say that. Is that tantamount to thinking that you would want to positively desire that? Maybe. And I mean, in that way, I would say, as a matter of simplicity, I would not identify, I would not make the conscious identification with the identity of straight, whatever straight is socially, whether that be a kind of heterosexual, cissexual understanding of sex and gender. I can't say that about myself. And in a certain way, I don't think I would like to say anything about myself. Because I don't feel the term homosexual is fitting, I don't feel gay to be fitting, and I don't even feel queer, that is to say questioning, to be fitting, because questioning supposes an end to the questioning. And I don't foresee an end in sight. I don't ever think I will say in whole concrete terms, I am this sexuality, I am this gender. I... It just doesn't feel right. I'm, I'm me. And if I have relations with a man, I'll have relations with a man. If I have relations with somebody who doesn't identify as being on the gender binary, then it happens. I have no bias or distaste for that. It, whatever happens, happens. I don't see any need to put a term on that or to have personally for me. I don't want to have any pride in that. People who, you know, feel more strongly about their identities and are very attached to them, you know, that's fine. Have pride in it. I'm, you know, I'm very happy for you. But it's not for me. And being public about it in that way is also not for me. I don't want to put pronouns in my profiles. I don't feel any special attraction to them. I don't feel any identification with them. It's like, that's just all nothing. The way Vihard puts it is, it feels like a linguistic game. And that's not to be reductive of other people's experiences with these terms and these matters, because to other people, I'm sure, this identity is a very real matter, and of course, everybody is valid in their own personal identification, you know, so long as they're not being malicious, and those groups know who they are. But I just don't feel the personal need, I don't feel it's fitting for me to go out and be very public about any of that. The only reason I've done it here is, well, because it's Pride Month, and in some sense, I would like to show solidarity. But in another sense, because I know people have taken up to speculation as to my beliefs on these things precisely because of what I've failed to do, that is, what I've failed to make public my support of. And those people, again, know who they are. There's quite a few of them, too. For me, sexuality is just too ambiguous to be pinned down into such simple terms. Perhaps someone else's sexuality is not as ambiguous for them. That's fine. But for me, the whole paradigm of stating I am this, I am that, and affirming it and believing in it, I, I can't do it because I don't know what I am. And I don't really want to. I like having that just be an organic piece of myself and not this thing, this sexuality, this gender. 
I prefer it to be obscure, because in my mind it is obscure. With that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little ramble. That's all.